Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 12. The message of the word of Yahuwah against Yisrael. Yahuwah stretching out the Shamayim and laying the foundation of the earth and forming the spirit of man within him declares, See, I am making Yerushalayim a cup of reeling to all the people all around, and also against Yahudah it is in the siege against Yerushalayim. And in that day it shall be that I make Yerushalayim a very heavy stone for all peoples. All lifting it are severely injured, and all the nations of the earth shall be gathered against it. In that day, declares Yahuwah, I smite every horse with bewilderment and its rider with madness. And on the house of Yahudah I open my eyes, but every horse of the peoples I smite with blindness. And the leaders of Yahudah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Yerushalayim are a strength to me through Yahuwah of hosts their Elohim. In that day I make the leaders of Yahudah like a fire pot among trees, and like a torch of fire in the sheaves. And they shall consume all the peoples all around, on the right and on the left. And Yerushalayim shall dwell again in her own place in Yerushalayim. And Yahuwah shall save the tents of Yahudah first, so that the comeliness of the house of Dawid and the comeliness of the inhabitants of Yerushalayim would not become greater than that of Yahudah. In that day, Yahuwah shall shield the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and the feeble among them in that day shall be like Dawid, and the house of Dawid like Elohim, like the messenger of Yahuwah before them. And it shall be... In that day that I seek to destroy all the Gentiles that come against Jerusalem, and I shall pour on the house of Dawid and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of favor and prayers, and they shall look upon me whom they pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourns for his only son, and they shall be in bitterness over him as a bitterness over the firstborn. In that day, the morning in Yerushalayim is going to be great like the morning at Hadad Ramon in the valley of Megadon. And the land shall mourn every clan by itself, the clan of the house of Dawid by itself and their women by themselves, the clan of the house of Nathan by itself and their women by themselves, the clan of the house of Lewi by itself and their women by themselves, the clan of Shimei by itself and their women by themselves, all the rest of the clans, every clan by itself and their women by themselves. Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 13. In that day a fountain shall be opened for the house of Dawid and for the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. And it shall be in that day, declares Yahuwah of hosts, that I cut off the names of the idols from the earth, and they shall be remembered no more, and I shall also remove the prophets and the unclean spirit from the earth. And it shall be when one Nava again, then his father and mother who brought him forth shall say to him, You shall not live because you have spoken falsehood in the name of Yahuwah. And his father and mother who brought him forth shall pierce him through when he Nava. And it shall be in that day that the Navaim shall be ashamed every one of his vision when he Nava and not put a hairy robe on in order to deceive, but shall say, I am no Navai, I am a farmer, for a man sold me as a slave in my youth. And one shall say to him, What are these wounds in your hands? And he shall say, Because I was wounded at my home by those who love me. O sword, awake against my shepherd, against the man who is my companion, declares Yahuwah of hosts. Smite the shepherd and let these sheep be scattered. But I shall turn my hand upon the little ones, and it shall be throughout all the land, declares Yahuwah, that two-thirds therein are cut off and die, and one-third is left therein. And I shall bring the third into fire, and refine them as silver is refined, and try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I shall answer them. I shall say, this is my people, while they say, Yahuwah 
is my Elohim. Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 14. See, a day shall come for Yahuwah, and your spoil shall be divided in your midst. And I shall gather all the Gentiles to battle against Jerusalem, and the city shall be taken, the houses plundered, and the women ravished. Half of the city shall go into exile, but the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. And Yahuwah shall go forth, and he shall fight against those Gentiles as he fights in the day of battle. And in that day his feet shall stand upon the Mount of Olives, which faces Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west, a very great valley. And half of the mountain shall move toward the north, and half of it toward the south. And you shall flee to the valley of my mountain, for the valley of the mountains reaches to Azel. And you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, sovereign of Yahudah. And Yahuwah my Elohim shall come all the Kodeshim with you. And in that day it shall be, there is no light, it is dark. And it shall be one day which is known to Yahuwah, neither day nor night, but at evening time there shall be light. And in that day it shall be that living waters flow from Jerusalem, half of them toward the eastern sea and half of them toward the western sea in summer as well as in winter. And Yahuwah shall be sovereign over all the earth. In that day there shall be one Yahuwah and his name one. All the land shall be changed into a desert plain from Giva to Ramon, south of Jerusalem, and she shall be raised up and inhabited in her place, from Binyamin's gate to the place of the fish gate and the corner gate, and from the tower of Chenanael to the wine presses of the sovereign. And they shall dwell in her, and there shall be no more utter destruction, but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. And this is the plague with which Yahuwah plagues all the people who fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall decay while they stand on their feet, and their eyes decay in their sockets, and their tongues decay in their mouths. And it shall be in that day that a great confusion from Yahuwah is among them, and every one of them shall seize the hand of his neighbor, and his hand rise up against his neighbor's hand. And Yahudah shall fight at Jerusalem as well. And the wealth of all the Gentiles round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver and garments in great quantities. So also is the plague on the horse and the mule, on the camel and the donkey, and on all the cattle that are in those camps as this plague. And it shall be that all who are left from all the Gentiles which came up against Jerusalem shall go up from year to year to bow themselves to the sovereign Yahuwah of hosts and to celebrate the festival of Sukkot. And it shall be that if any one of the clans of the earth does not come up to Jerusalem to bow himself to the sovereign Yahuwah of hosts, on them there is to be no rain. And if the clan of Mitzrayim does not come up and enter in, then there is none. On them is the plague with which Yahuwah plagues the Gentiles who do not come up to celebrate the festival of Sukkot. This is the punishment of Mitzrayim and the punishment of all the Gentiles that do not come up to observe the festival of Sukkot. In that day, Kodesh to Yahuwah shall be engraved on the bells of the horses, and the pots in the house of Yahuwah shall be like the bowls before the altar, and every pot in Jerusalem and Yahudah shall be Kodesh to Yahuwah of hosts, and all those who slaughter shall come and take them and cook in them, and there shall no longer be a merchant in the house of Yahuwah of hosts in that day.